Now, while India may still debate on the film chosen to represent the country at the Oscars, but it's a film from across the border which is making the right noise. Zinda Bhag is not only the first Pakistani film to be represented at the Academy in 50 years, but also stars first-time actors auditioned out of the Muhallas of Lahore. It's quirky, it's vibrant, and Zinda Bhag is on its way to Oscar glory. So, heartiest congratulations. The first, I would say, Indo-Pak venture to make it to the Oscars. Thanks a lot. Yeah, it's been quite something. And uh, it's just, you know, so overwhelming. After 50 years, a film from Pakistan has been submitted. And we've been really lucky that we uh, had the right timing. And also, what do you think was about Zindabad? How did it come about? Because it's about three friends. There is no geopolitical issues being, you know, and it's basically a story about ambitions. Well, uh, Farjad uh, and me, we had a uh, couple of friends and we had uh, very close relatives uh, who had done these journeys, gone, you know, abroad uh, through what is called the Dunki and the Hori Jagan, which is uh, crossing borders illegally. And the stories that they came back with were so fascinating, were actually... Uh, so uh, they were larger than life they were pure fiction in a sense so uh, we just put those stories together our boys belong to the mohallas in which the film was shot so i would say it's very down to earth and in details you see the lahore uh, meena is talking about it's in the humor uh, it's in the dialogues you know it's in the uh, one liners which are famous it's called jugat in lahore you know the famous uh, the quick repartee so I think uh, we focused on another side of uh, Lahore. Pakistan that hasn't uh, come to the international audiences and uh, though we are so close, uh, you know, in terms uh, uh, India is so close to Pakistan, but it's, I think it's a Pakistan that people who have visited Pakistan may have seen from India, but has not is not there in the cinema. Uh, so I think it's in that sense, Zinda Bhag uh, would be first of its kind film. I think the story is a story about a failure, it's a story about uh, aspirations and desires. It's a universal story, so I think it will translate very well to all audiences. And as you think, Shavrak, was it difficult getting him or because he's usually very picky and choosy? Yeah, exactly. So he, w he picked our script <laughs> and uh, we're so like uh, uh, surprised and honored in a way that, uh, you know, we just sent him the script. We didn't know him. We have no contact with him. He read the scenes and he called us and said, I want to do this film. What is a movie like Zindabha going to do to the Pakistan film industry? Because from the 10th largest producer of films, there are hardly like 10 films produced in a year. Yeah, that's true. The demise of Lollywood, as it is known, was quite uh, steep. And uh, literally, like last year or two years ago, there were like five, six, seven films made. Now, uh, things are on the up because of new cinemas being made, new audiences wanting to see new stuff. And again, like I said, that uh, the timing of Zinda Bhak, we are very lucky with it. Uh, there is so much hunger in the audiences to see something new. Zinda Bhak is a kind of a tribute from our side mm -hmm. to that industry which now does not exist.